my first building video, I taught you how to build the engine in my summer car. This week, I'm going to teach you how to get the suspension, wheels and steering up and running. Before you can get these working, you will need three brake fluid bottles from Tamo store and also four wheels. A more detailed video on how to get the wheels to your car can be found with the link in the description. The first thing you're going to need to start off this section of the car build is the subframe. This attaches to the bottom of the engine bay and can be secured with four 10 millimeter bolts, one in each corner of the subframe. Next come the left and right wishbones, named because they look like the wishbone from a chicken. These attach to the subframe with two 10 millimeter bolts on each one. Left goes on the left and the right goes on the right. If you're struggling to attach these, you may be trying to attach it to the wrong side, so double check before you cry. Next comes the steering rack. This attaches to the back of the subframe with four 9mm bolts, and to the steering rack goes the steering column, which can be secured with two 8mm bolts near where it meets the steering rack. Naturally, on top of the steering column goes the steering wheel. This is secured with one 10mm bolt. After this, you can attach the left and right front spindles. They clip onto the ball-like ends of the wishbones and are attached with one 12mm bolt just below the circle holes. The steering rods are next. These attach to either side of the steering rack, left and right respectively, and secure again with one 12mm bolt. Then you can attach a disc brake to either side. Do not do up the 14mm bolts yet. We can do this once the wheel has been attached. Slightly behind these disc brakes clip the half shafts, and then above these go the left and right front struts. Once the strut is attached, you can secure them with the four 9mm bolts where it meets the half shaft. They can be difficult to find at first, but the bolts sit just behind the wheel. There are also three 9mm bolts on each end of the half shafts to do up as well. These attach to the engine. You can bolt them now if you want to. It's slightly cheesy, but it does not affect the car in any way. The struts also bolt to the car body at the top with three 10mm bolts on each side. You can do these up now. That's the whole front suspension and steering done. On to the back. First, attach the left and right trail arms to the back of the car here. They attach to the car body with two 12mm bolts. The drum brakes then attach to the half shafts. You do not need to bolt the 14mm bolt in the middle until the wheels are on. Then come the coil springs. Attach these to the little black nub coming off the half shaft. You may see the car rise up when you add these. After these have been added, you can attach the left and right shock absorbers. These secure at the bottom with two 6mm bolts and at the top with one 12mm bolt. You can secure these easily by looking through the back of the car body. Whilst we're on the wheels, let's secure the brakes and clutch as well. To do this, you're going to need to attach the brake master cylinder first. This attaches to the back right of the engine bay, secures to the car body with two 8mm bolts. Then the brake lining can be attached, again to the back of the engine bay. This has several 7mm bolts to do up. One near the steering column, one near each of the front wheel sections, one on each of the back wheel sections, four on this crazy looking section of the engine bay, and finally, two on the brake master cylinder. We're also going to attach the clutch. Grab the clutch master cylinder and place it next to the brake master cylinder, again attaching with two 8mm bolts. Then grab the clutch lining and place it slightly above the brake lining at the back of the engine bay. There are now two more 7mm bolts to do up, one on the clutch master cylinder and one that attaches onto the engine. Again, it's cheesy. Like the half shafts, you can do this bolt up now with no engine inside. And whilst this feels weird to do, again, it has no effect on whether the engine will work later or not. After that, you can secure the clutch and the brakes to the actual steering by looking below the steering wheel and doing up these two 9mm bolts. You then finish the job by pouring brake fluid into these three holes. Screw the cap off with your scroll wheel and fill them up with these yellow bottles you bought from the store earlier. Lastly, we can add the wheels. Attach each wheel to the wheel section. First, you're going to do up the 14mm bolts in the middle of each wheel. And then lastly, fully secure the wheel with four 13mm bolts on each one. Steering must also be aligned. Using the 14mm bolt found here, scroll up or down until the wheels stop moving. After this, scroll exactly 60 times in the opposite direction. This should straighten up your steering. Do this on both sides and you won't be crashing into anything. That's it, we're done. You can upgrade your suspension with racing suspension, but how to change that will come in another video. Until then, happy building. Catch you in the next.